What I thought I'd do today is show some pre-operation checks and maintenance on this 1981 Ford tractor. We'll start up front and uh, show opening the hood. Then we're going to check the radiator screen, the oil, uh, engine oil, as well as the hydraulic oil. Uh, and then we'll put the hood down and, and get set to go. We're going to hook up the brush hog and then do some mowing. To open the hood on this tractor, there are just two clasps, one here on the left side of the machine, and then there's another one, same thing, right here on the right side of the machine. Now, once those are undone, the hood lifts from here, but we can't do that right away because we need to open the guard up at the front as well as remove the air intake right there in the center of the hood. So here is the guard at the front of the tractor, part of the loader frame. Now you can see this is pinned such that we take this and this swings open to the other side there and it's hinged. The pin on this side goes vertically. Now the issue is you can't actually swing this up out of the way when the loader is in the down position. So we actually have to start the tractor, raise the loader, and then we're able to swing that out of the way. So we'll go ahead and take care of that now. While I do this, I'm careful that I'm not standing under that bucket directly and I just want to wiggle this. It gets stuck in here. There we go. We just swing that on out of the way. That's now wide open and now we can lift up the hood. I'm now going to remove this air intake. I usually just set it here in the seat and then the hood lifts right on up and we have great access to the whole engine at this point. So let's take a look and clean that radiator screen, check the oil and get ourselves ready. So here's the radiator screen right up in front. All tractors have these. Basically this prevents any debris from getting and clogging the radiator itself. Now you can see there's not a lot on here. This, this isn't bad at all um, just to have this debris. But when you do brush hogging or mowing, uh, the radiator fan will pull a lot of debris into this and the way that you know that it's it's blocked up is that the temperature will start to rise a little bit and when you get into mowing real tall grass with this tractor I've had to at times stop every half hour or so and actually clear this out if you're doing you know grass that's three four feet tall and a lot of uh, seed and debris flying around you do have to clean that and so if you don't your engine could possibly overheat. So it's really important when you work in a tractor to pay attention to that temperature gauge for this reason. Now that the debris is cleared off the radiator screen, we'll just go ahead and slip this back in. Oop. This one's coming apart a little, so it sometimes gets caught. Slip that right back in. Now we can go ahead and check the oil and the hydraulic fluid. In this tractor, the oil dipstick is right here on the right hand side of the machine. So we can just slip that dipstick out. You can see the hatch marks in it. That's indicating the okay range. So it looks like we are um, right up at the full point, which makes sense. The oil was changed about three operating hours ago and this doesn't leak any oil. So we shouldn't have any issues. Yep, we're filled right up to full. So we are all set to go with regard to engine oil. Next, we'll take a look at the hydraulic oil. 
On this machine, the hydraulic oil and the transmission, it's all one reservoir. And the dipstick and fill plug is right here, right on the top of the transmission case, basically right between the operator's legs if you're sitting in the seat. Now when I pull this out, you're not probably not even going to be able to see hydraulic oil on the dipstick. We are in that okay range. You don't want this overfilled, but we're not filled up. This has a, a minor leak these days, and so I'm going to check that um, once again just to be sure off camera. Um, I do have more oil if I need to add it, so of course I want to make sure that we're not running it too low given that we do have a minor leak at this time. Now that we're finished our checks, we'll go ahead and bring the hood down. We'll put our air intake back in. We'll close up the front here. Sometimes this is a little bit tricky. Get this to the line and set on in. All right now we would start her up, bring the loader down, and we're ready to go. So there you have it. You can see the junk that's accumulated from my work mowing today. And so that is why that temp was creeping up a little bit because good airflow wasn't coming through for a good portion over the radiator. So we'll go ahead and get this out, clean it up, and uh, then get ready to park the tractor for the day. <laughs> 